He was five at the time. The doctor looked at him and immediately knew he had Duchenne muscular dystrophy. We didn't know anything about Duchenne muscular dystrophy. It was very scary to think what Easton's future might look like. Duchenne muscular dystrophy is a severe, life-threatening and devastating disease. It begins at birth and progresses from that point forward. First weakness of the lower extremities. By the time kids get to be teenagers, they're stuck in a wheelchair. Then shoulder weakness, problem lifting arms over the head or reaching for things. Then respiratory and cardiac involvement, and then early death. The heart really is the end game for these boys. Connor was the first patient we ever did with systemic gene therapy. Easton was the oldest boy in that trial. We have programmed the virus to be delivered over an hour and 15 minutes. It's not that long, but during the viral delivery, we exercise the extremities every 10 minutes. Seven, eight, nine, ten. We do the shoulders, the elbows, the wrists, the hands, the knees, the hips, so we can make sure that the virus is distributed over all the muscles. Eight, nine, ten. You are doing the work. Good job. Pull up, heart. One, heart. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Pull up, heart. After the gene therapy, it was like a new child. He had this confidence that he wanted to try stairs and he wanted to walk around when we were out and about and he wanted to be more independent for himself and we still see that to this day. The most remarkable thing was he'd start just cruising up those stairs and that's nothing that we ever saw him do before. It was almost unbelievable. I had been working on this for 50 years and when I saw the first patient and his disability, I felt committed to making a change. Easton just had his five-year follow-up. Injured leg right here, hold it. Now all of a sudden went from cars playing on the floor to um, airplanes. Everything was just cruising around the house. It was like he felt too good to sit down. This therapy gave Easton his childhood and it let him be a little boy. I think when they signed up for this, they didn't know what the outcome would be. But now they have to feel a great sense of gratification for their participation. They have helped basically thousands of boys with Duchenne muscular dystrophy. With the gene therapy, we were given that hope back. We were able to visualize his future and what he could become and everything that he could be great at. I hope that with the gene therapy getting approved, that opens the doors for many other families. I don't think that he looks at himself as a true trailblazer, but we tell him all the time, he's done remarkable things, and what he's doing is helping boys everywhere. <laughs>